Hello again, welcome to this video. This is the last video of a three-part series of videos that I did with this character. Um, this video is going to be um, just a time-lapse of my uh, skinning and rigging for this character, which is pretty much basic. It's not um, a very sophisticated rig. I don't have like... Um, joint orient things, I just don't have IKFK switch controls, things like that. So if you are a rigger, um, you're probably gonna find this video very basic. The thing is that I just need to rig the character so I can um, animate it, because I'm mainly a, an animator, I'm not a rigger. So I just do the basic controls that I need to animate this character. I don't need really that much controls. Now, once I have all the joints in place, um, before the skinning occurs, I usually do some blend shapes for the facial expressions. In this case, it's just a simple uh, blink of an eye and a simple nostril animation, something that I can work on when he's doing the animation. Um, I do the blend shapes first before the skinning simply because if I do the skinning and then the blend shapes it won't work. Uh, Maya doesn't let me uh, do the blend shapes after the skinning. Thank you. 
Now for the actual uh, skinning process of the character, uh, I try different options that my has, see which one works best for the character. Skinning is actually the most time consuming part of the whole process because you have to paint all the weights and uh, try to disconnect from uh, joints that uh, you're not supposed to be connected. So you have to paint and mirror the weight map of the skinning. Um, it's a lot of work, it's uh, very time consuming and you have to have a lot of patience. That's why I'm not a rigor. I mean, I know this coming from an animator is a bit of a paradox, but I really don't have the patience to be a rigger. I mean, I rig things when I need it, but uh, if I can avoid it and spend more time doing animation, it's, it's the way I prefer best, actually. I'm not really sure if the professional riggers do this kind of technique, but um, what I usually do is I don't really paint the weights in the neutral pose. What I tend to do is uh, stretch the joints and make a keyframe on that, in that pose. 
so I can uh, paint uh, better the weights because I can see better when the, the joints are stretched. I can see which part of the geometry is being affected so I can clearly visually see better where can I paint. When it comes to creating the controls, uh, I simply use some circles and uh, some curves, nothing really fancy. Uh, as an animator, I tend to um, create as fewer controls as possible, simply because when I'm animating, I don't really want to have uh, a lot of uh, visual noise. I want the fewer controls as possible so I can be more spontaneous when I'm doing the animation.
Uh, as you can see, even a simple rig like this one, uh, it's already have a lot of controls. Uh, but in this case, uh, it's needed because uh, things like the tail and the fingers and uh, the toes need some kind of control so I can animate them properly. There are other parts of the body that I don't put any kind of controls, like those uh, flippers on the on his back. The tongue doesn't have any controls, and the ears. Uh, usually, what I do is, uh, if I need to animate those, I just go to straight to the joints and uh, animate them forward kinematics. It's pretty much like a stop motion, which is something that I did back in the 90s. So you just uh, pose the joints in the order that you need it and then set a keyframe. Pretty much like stop motion but in digital. Um, it's pretty much the same process. And it's done. The rigger is the rig is finished. It's not a spectacular rig, but it it works. And uh, the next stage that I usually do is just to test the rig overall, see if the manipulators are working properly, and then I go uh, and do some kind of a walk cycle or run cycle to test the, the rig and make the uh, adjustments that I need if needed to um, finishing the character. And so we reach the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you wish, you can watch the two other previous videos that I did with this character, with the modeling and the sculpting. And if you like, you can subscribe to the channel. I'll try to make more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.